And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of The Flash Season 4 Episode 6. Now this was a pretty fun episode. It wasn't the greatest episode but it was pretty fun. Um, So obviously we all know that Barry's got a new friend now and his former enemy now turned his friend the uh, stretchy guy. Still don't know if he's really Plastic Man or Elastic Man. I don't know. But dude, it's actually pretty funny. I like him a lot. He's actually a pretty cool character. It's another girl on me. So basically, Barry decides, you know what? I'm going to start training you so you can become a superhero as well. And then, you know, things happen. They find another metahuman that Barry kind of created when he got out of the Speed Force. Apparently, this woman can make animal objects come to life. So, like... If there's like a suit of armor standing still, she can make that come to life. Basically like not in the museum, but without the museum part. Put it that way. So basically she wants to get her, her family's legacy back. Like all her Native American treasures and all that stuff from museums and shipping places and auctions. She wants to get all that stuff back. So Barry and her, his friend, they do what they have to do to basically try to grab her and get her back. And obviously lock her up. And also teach him... You know, lots of getting man to, you know, how to be a hero. Something happens where he kind of goofs off where a little girl gets injured. She ends up being fine. He ends up feeling guilty about that. And then Barry's like, you know what? You make mistakes and you got to pick yourself up back up so you can do it again and you learn from your mistakes. And that's what Barry has learned to so many times. But, um, yeah, he ends up getting the gist of it. He helps Barry get the... the um, the bad guy, and all at the top of that, they try to get the Devoid, which is the, I believe, the Thinker, in the new villain. So um, that's basically just the episode. I guess it was a pretty cool episode. The only negative, and also why that, well, before I get to the negatives, um, while they were trying to figure out who the Devoid is, um, they get Harrison Well to get all his other Earths, Harrison Wells to help him out. That doesn't work. And Harrison Wells end up figuring out himself, and then they end up finding him, and then they end up finding out that the boy or the bad guy that they've been trying to find since like the first minute they ever mentioned it, they heard his name, which is like three episodes ago. He's a guy in a wheelchair, living in a suburban home with his wife, normal as can be. And that's basically the, the end of the episode. The only negative I have about this episode is why they even bother with the thinker right now. I mean, so far, the Thinker really hasn't done anything. I mean, he's kind of like, he's done less than what Thanos has done. No, actually, you know what? I take it back. Thanos has done less than he has because at least Than, at least the Thinker is actually gathering people and you can understand what he's trying to go for. He's trying to create like an army of some sort. While Thanos, on the other hand, the Marvel Universe, is just sits in his butt all day hoping to get the Infinity Stones. But that's a different situation. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why Barry's worried about the Void now. Because, obviously, he heard the name when Zoom, when um, Savitar told him. And then he's like, oh, we should go get him now. So that way he doesn't do anything to us. He's only sent one bad guy after that, and it was just a robot. And, yes, they sp he's spying on them. I get that. I know that. But um, that's from next week's episode. They don't find out until next week. So, technically, they're worrying about this guy for nothing. He's not even doing anything to them yet. So I don't know what what's the worry, what's the point of the you know, the sneak attack now, you're gonna make you know, it's like trying to basically start a fire and then put in more fire to that. It's like you put a match, you light it up as fire, and then you pour gasoline all over it. You wanna make the the fire go more explosions. There's no point. If a guy started with you once, you don't know who did it, you're like, alright, fine, we'll figure out when we get to that point. And now, oh wait, it's the Void. He was the one who sent this guy, or we think, we don't know. Let's go catch him anyway, you know? Because, yeah, because apparently all the bad guys that Barry's been catching has basically been the Void. Not really. The bad guys they've been catching the whole time is because of Barry and his fault. So, anyway, that's my only negative about that. But other than that, I thought it was cool. But um, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. And uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Hopefully this... The Void character or the Thinker or whatever they're going to call him. He ends up being a cool character because so far he's just like Thanos doesn't do anything. So let's see what happens. Leave a comment below. Let me know and thank you and have a good day.